Hey everyone, welcome back to Island Adventures. Today we're in for a treat as we explore one of our favorite bakeries on Prince Edward Island. We've handpicked six mouthwatering treats that we can't wait to sink our teeth into. So let's not waste any more time and get started. We're here at the Willow Bakery and Cafe in Kensington, PEI. It's right on the Confederation Trail so you can walk off all the damage you do here. First, we tried the inside out cookie, which cost $2.95. There's no way two cookies with icing in the middle could disappoint. A breeze just took out our whole episode. <laughs> I like it. I need some milk. <laughs> you can also get this one with vanilla icing if you prefer. This was even better when we warmed up the rest of it at home. We're starting things off with a 4.5 out of 5. Next, we tried the Sin Bar. This is their take on a Hello Dolly bar, and it's made with a graham cracker crust, coconut, chocolate chips, slivered almonds, and condensed milk, we think. Ooh, it looks like butterscotch chips, too. Mm-hmm. So much coconut. It's really good. Is it amazing, good, or? It's great. Okay. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Super heavy on the coconut, which we love. The Sin Bar costs $2.95 and we're giving it 4 stars out of 5. We were shocked by how good this cinnamon roll really was. If you can only get one thing at this bakery, you need to get their brown butter cinny roll. It's so soft. I didn't think it would still be soft. Like normally they go hard. Let's try it. Mm hmm It's just like Cinnabon. Okay, you gotta get this one. So much better than a normal cinnamon roll. It tastes almost like maple-y. Mm -hmm. The brown butter cinny roll was $3.50 and we're giving this five out of five stars with our first ever yum badge. The yum badge is reserved for our favorite foods that cannot be missed. If you like scones, you should definitely try one of theirs. They have both savory and sweet options. We chose the bacon and cheddar scone, and the pieces of bacon in this are pretty big. Going in for a bite. Mm. Ideal breakfast. Just this. Nothing mind-blowing about this one, but a quality option. We're giving it 3.5 stars out of 5. Next, we tried a thumbprint. This was our least favorite treat of the day. It was super crumbly, which was good texture-wise, but we also lost a lot of it to the picnic table. Maybe just eat this all in one bite to avoid that. It looks like a lot of oats and stuff. Yeah, so it's healthy. Nah. It's a healthy alternative. <laughs> mm. It's very crumbly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm losing 90% of it. <laughs> but it's good. This reminds me of a homemade Nature Valley bar. The crunchy ones. Lastly, we tried their delicious score cake. At only $3.50 a slice, I wish we ordered two of these because we found it kind of hard to share. I want another bite. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my bite. <laughs> You gotta get this one too. <laughs> Just get everything here. I'm sure it's all good. But this cake is something else. It's so good. It's so chocolatey. It does look so chocolatey. It's crunchy. It's so good. It was super moist and chocolatey, and the score on top added a crunchy element. We're giving this 4.5 stars out of 5. It was amazing. The Willow Bakery and Cafe has so much variety, and we didn't even try any of their amazing drinks. They have something for everyone here, and we don't think it's possible to leave disappointed. Each dessert left us wanting more, and we highly recommend you visit the Willow next time you're in the area. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments which dessert you'd love to try the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in our next island adventure.